Fiskerma. Good afternoon. I hope your day is going well. In this lesson, we're going to look at talking about things you did often. So in my other video, we talked about things that you do presently and probably will do in the future. Now let's talk about the past. This is a little different from how we would put it in English. And I'm sure it's a bit different from how other languages would talk about doing things in the past. So let's dive right in and learn about this part of the Gallic mindset. So, we've got some actions here, some hobbies or passions or regular things. Let's sort out what they mean first. So, a kluich rugby. Playing rugby. Mm-hmm. A lievig. Reading. One of my favorite things to do. A doll and shin. Going there. It's one way to say going there. A driving. Driving. It's an ancient Gaelic word. A driving. <laughs> a gaval coffee. Having coffee. Mm. Now, the great thing about this way to talk about things you did often that I'm about to show you is that you can plug in all of your actions that you've already been learning, all of your verbs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, writing, uh, cooking, you know, making something, seeing, hearing, all of that, you can just plug in right here. There's another way to talk about things you did often, and it's a little more complicated because you're, in that way, you would change your verbs individually. It's great to learn, but if you're starting, if you're still starting to come to grips with this idea of talking about things you did often in the past, in this Gallic way, I highly recommend doing it this way, because this is a very straightforward pattern. Mm -hmm. It's very straightforward and it's predictable. And you can use a lot of what you already have learned. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, there are two ways to do it. You know, there's this way, and then there's a way that you would change each verb. Personally, I wouldn't recommend, well, my recommendation is I wouldn't worry about that other way at the moment. Focus on this, come to grips with this idea, become comfortable with it, and then later on, you can work on your verbs individually. Okay, let's come back to this. So, how would we talk about doing these things often in the past? Remember, we're talking about the past, things we did often. Well, let's see. I, I played rugby at university. I didn't, but let's pretend I did. So, I played rugby at university. Pretty straightforward in English, but if we use this just the straight past with Gaelic, it means that it happened once. I played one game of rugby. <laughs> I played rugby once at university and never again. <laughs> so we need a special word to show that we're talking about things that we did often. That's why we have this here. We're going to use veen. We're not going to use va. We're going to use veen. So veen. Veen. I would... be. Veen. I would be. So in English, to talk about things that you did often, say, I, I watched Netflix every night. I wrote papers every morning. I read the newspaper. Yeah, but in Gaelic, it's, I would read the newspaper. I would play rugby. I would watch Netflix. Little different. Little different. Okay. And this little I-N-N on the end, it means I would. That's only for talking about me, about yourself. This I and N on the end. Veen. I would. I would. So let's keep going. I would play rugby. Really, we're saying I played rugby. I played rugby often in the past. Veen a kluich rugby. Veen a kluich rugby. Veen a kluich rugby. I would be playing rugby. Mm -hmm. Just like that. If you want to add a bit more detail, you do it right after this, after this part of the phrase. Iken alhai. 
at university. Wien a klich rugby ikenolhai. I played rugby at university. I did it often. That's why we're using Wien here. I would play rugby at university. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's add some other details here. I played rugby with friends. I did it often. Wien a klich rugby konleri mocharechen. With my friends. With my friends. Wien a klich rugby konleri mocharechen. I would play rugby with my friends. I played it often in the past. But what if we played rugby with our friends at university? Wien a klich rugby konleri mocharechen ikenolhe. So you can stack all these details on it uh, at the end. Mm -hmm. But you're going to start here with Wien or one of these. Okay, nice. Nice. I would play rugby every day. Let's keep practicing this a little bit. Wien a klich rugby a hulala. Every day. I played rugby every day when I was younger, before I broke every bone in my body. For example, Wien a klich rugby a hulala ikenolhai. Or, to really add a lot of detail, Wien a klich rugby a konleri mocharechen a hulala ikenolhai. I played rugby every day with my friends at university. You can stack all these details at the end of the phrase. Leva. Okay. So, Wien, talking about yourself. I did this often. You just put in your action right after it. Wien, whatever. Now, what if you didn't do it, though? I didn't play rugby at university. What are you talking about? <laughs> ha Wien. Ha Wien. I would not be. Not. So the ha is the not there. Like chaniel, haro, chavi. That ha is always negative. Leva. So I would not be playing rugby at university. <laughs> I didn't play rugby at uni. Chavin. Chavin. A klich rugby. Iken alhai. I didn't play rugby every day. Chavin, a klich rugby, a hulala. Chavin, chavin. So chavin didn't do it. Vin did do it. Remember, all this this i n n on the end means me. You might be tempted to to look for a me or to put in a me, but you do actually don't need it. Because that's what this ending means. That's what this ending means here. It means it's all about me. I would. I would. Wien a klich rugby ikenolhai. Or if you didn't, chavin a klich rugby ikenolhai. Just like that. Okay, let's see. What about reading? I would read every day. I read every day in the past. I read every day uh, in February. That kind of idea, right? So, Wien a lievig, Wien a lievig, a hulala. I read every day. And then whatever extra detail you want. Um, I did not read every day. Chavin, Chavin, a lievig, a hulala. Chavin, Chavin, had other things to do. Leva. This is how you talk about yourself. What about talking about other people? What about talking about, you know, them or Seamus or Mari or Katriana? You know, what other um, typical Gaelic names can we throw in there? 
So if you want to talk about someone using their name, we're going to use Vig. You'll see this one most often, to be honest. Yeah, Vig, Vig. So Vig, um, what can we put here? Vig. When talking about these like traditional Gallic names, Madi is so common. It's a lovely name. Um, what? Ailey, Ailey. I, I quite like the name Ailey. It's the Gallic for Helen. Although some, some folk like to just say Ailey means Ailey. That's great too. Vig Ailey. Ailey would. Ailey would be. Ailey would be. So remember, we're talking about things we did often. Vig Ailey a klich rugby. A hulala. Ailey would play rugby every day. She played rugby every day. What if she did it at university? Vig, Vig Ailey, a klich rugby, a hulala. Iken olhai. Gleva? Mm hmm. What about she played rugby? So we're not naming her, we're not naming Ailey, but we're still talking about her. Vig E. Vig e, she would be. Vig e, a klich rugby, a hulala, ikan alhai. Yeah, nice. What if Ailey read in the car? Every time there was a car trip or something like that, she would read in the car in the back seat. Hopefully, not while she was driving, hopefully in the back seat. Well, outzachar in the car. Mm hmm. Vig Ailey, a Lievig, Antzachar. Ailey would read in the car. Oh, let's get a car here. Car. Oh gosh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you know. Kind of a sporty, sporty thing here. Gleva, you know. Our shin. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a shoe on wheels. <laughs> Oh, Gleva. <laughs> All aboard the shoe. <laughs> Kuyu. Anyway, Kuyu. She would read every day in the car. Vig i alievig antsachar ahulala. Yeah. Ahulala antsachar. These are kind of interchangeable. Yeah. Gleva. Vig i. Vig Ailey, a lievig, a lievig, antzachar, antzachar, a hulala. Gleva, gleva. Mm -hmm. So you could use this vig to talk about he would, right? He, they would, right? Eat. Anything like that. So names and things like he or they or her or you, if you're being polite, that kind of thing, or talking to a group. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can use Vig. All right. But what if, what if they didn't do that? What if they didn't? Ailey would not, Ailey did not play rugby at uni. Chavig. Chavig. Nope. Chavig. Chavig. Ailey. A klich rugby. Iken alhai. Mm-mm. Chavig. 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 Ailey. A lievig. Antzachar. Maybe she gets motion sick. Happens to the best of us. Aye. Yeah. Gleva. Just like that. So. How to talk about yourself. Let's separate these a bit. Starting to get quite, quite cluttered. Yeah. Good Gaelic here on the board. Okay, Maha. Well, what about... 
talking about us. Like we would, we would, um, we would have coffee every Saturday. We would read by the fire. We, talking about we. You're not going to use vig, although honestly I've seen some people use vig, vig sheen, we would. But the way I learned it, the way I learned um, this, following this pattern, this traditional pattern, via Mitch. Mitch, via Mitch. Via Mitch. Via Mitch. Vmitch. So we would be. So now we would play rugby with my friends. Like we played rugby with my friends every weekend, right? Vmitch. A cloich rugby. Konlari moharachin. We would read every day. Vmitch. A lievig. Ahulala. Mm hmm. Kleva. Now, what if maybe um, there's two friends or, or a couple or a group who go to an art class every, every night? Maybe it's a night class on Friday night. So, going there. A dolenshen. One way to say that. We would go there, meaning the class, we would go there um, every day. Uh, well, no, actually, every 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 Friday, let's say. Via Mitch, a doll, unshin, a hula, Friday, Jehunya. Via Mitch, a doll, unshin, a hula. Jehenya. We would go there every Friday. Yeah. So this Mitch is we. So again, I and N, the in on the end is all about me, but Mitch is all about us. And that it can be a little tricky to know what sound that makes. So I'll, I'll help you out. Um, a I D, that's itch. So Mitch, it's like saying the name Mitch, <laughs> Mitchell, <laughs> right? Mitch. Hey, Mitch. <laughs> Mitch. It's, it's also sounds like you've got an itch. Mitch. <laughs> so that's what the AID sound. The AID is itch. Itch. Via Mitch. We would. So we would, we would drive every day. Maybe taking a nice drive through the countryside every day. Yeah. Via Mitch, a driver, a hulala, a hulala. Via Mitch, a driver, a hulala. We would drive every day. We would play rugby every day. Via Mitch, a cloich rugby, a hulala. Yeah, nice. So there's some, some new things to learn here, a couple new forms, but this is important to have. It's important to have in your, in your, your consciousness, your Gallic toolkit. I mean, whatever, whatever imagery here makes the most sense to you. But becoming more familiar and comfortable with these will not only make your Gallic more impressive, but it'll bring your Gallic a big step closer to that out of a native speaker. And that's our... That's, I feel that's our goal as learners. We want to have our Gaelic, you know, be as close to an, that of a native speaker's as possible. Little by little, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. If this is a bit too much, watch the video again another time. Come back to it. It'll be here for you. You know? Yeah. Don't, no need to stress. No need to make anything, you know, a big deal, a big drama. It's all good. Take in what you can from this video. Leave the rest and come back to it another time. Yeah, get a bit more that time. Get a bit more. It's a process. A process. I don't expect you to master this like that. Kleva. <laughs> All right. So, we've looked at how to talk about things that I did often, talking about yourself, 
talking about, you know, other people, like Ailey, if you use their name, or him, or her, or they, talking about us, you know, she, us. But what about asking someone? Did you play rugby at uni? Did you read in the car? You know, did you drive here? <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, or no, did you drive here? That wouldn't work. Um, did you drive every weekend? Yeah, that kind of thing. So here's how we ask questions. That'll be the last part of this video lesson. You're doing great. All right, so I'm big. I'm big too. Let's see. Uh, usually you're going to see two here. I'm big too. Would you be? So that's asking, would you? I'm big too. I'm big too. And sometimes native speakers will say this is big. I'm big too. I've heard that before. I'm big. I'm big. 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 It kind of sounds like food. I'm big too. <laughs> I'm big too. Yeah. I'm big too. I'm big too. You'll hear. Yeah. And your ear will pick these things up as you as your Gallic grows. Don't worry about it too much right now. Okay. So, would you play rugby at uni? That's what we're literally asking, you know, did you play rugby? Did you play rugby often? I'm big too. A cleek rugby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if it's about me, the yes response would be, oh, Wien. Wien. Yes. Would you be playing rugby? I would. Wien. Oh, Wien. You didn't play rugby? Chavin. 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 A cleek rugby. Ik en al hij. Chavin. Chavin. Okay. But what if um, we're talking about Ailey? Am big Ailey? You know, would Ailey be? Am big Ailey? A cleek rugby? Ik en al hij. Did she play rugby at uni? <clears throat> yes would be, oh, vieg, vieg. No, chavieg, chavieg. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Did they play rugby? Am bieg at, or iet? Did they play? Am bieg iet, a kleich rugby? Ik en al hij? Oh, chavieg, chavieg, chavieg. Chavieg, chavieg, chavieg yet. A clay rugby. Ik en al hij. Chavieg, chavieg. So, these are your yes and no forms depending on who's being talked about. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's useful to know these, these positive and negatives here. Um, let's see, Maha. Oh, we've got one more. Oh, and we didn't even talk about coffee or driving. For shame. For shame. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's, well, I think we did talk a little bit about driving. We did. Driving, driving every day, maybe on holiday. Took a nice drive. What about coffee? We gotta mention coffee here for you, for you coffee, coffee lovers. All right. Um, I had coffee every day at uni. I needed it to stay awake for 8 a.m. psychology classes. <laughs> For example, <laughs> Wien, Wien, a gaval coffee, a hula la, ikanalhai. There we go. I didn't have coffee every day. Chavin, Chavin, a gaval coffee. Ahulala. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Um, Vig Ailey. <laughs> Vig Ailey. A gaval coffee. Ahulala. Mm -hmm. She would be. Oh, and then Ailey would get in the car with all of us and she would always have a Starbucks. Vig Ailey. A gaval Starbucks. <laughs> a gaval coffee. Aunt Sahar. 
Yeah, she would have coffee in the car often. Always have her, her whatever frozen Pacino thing <laughs> there is. <laughs> oh, goodness me. <laughs> right. So you can mix and match here. Any of these actions you can use with these, which is why I recommend becoming comfortable with this style of talking about things you did often. It can be a little wordy. However, you can use what you've already learned, a lot of actions you've already learned. Yeah, yeah, and get used to using it in this way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, oh, we've got another detail here, Gulua, fast or quickly. Uh, we, would, we would drive fast. We would drive fast in the car. <laughs> We'd drive fast. Viemich a drivig gulua outzachar. Or, I think I don't see why one couldn't say viemich a drivig gulua outzachar gulua. Yeah, that could work too. But a drivig gulua feels better to me. Yeah. Gleva. So here you have it, a couple new things to learn, like I mentioned before. Um, however, once this feels a bit more natural to you, once you start noticing it in whatever Gaelic that you work on, on your own, you know, this is going to really get deeper into your mind. And it doesn't need to all at once. Not at all. Do what's possible. Do what you can. And, you know, revisit and strengthen your understanding of this. And just let it sink in a bit deeper. But please don't expect yourself to pick it up instantly. Because then you're going to get frustrated when you don't. And it's normal. It's very, very, um, it's very normal to not pick everything up all at once. You know, we acquire things in little pieces. And then someday we have an, a big aha moment. It's because all those pieces have built up to where you're ready for that aha moment. Where you, it, you just get it. Where it just, oh yeah, that's what that is. That's what the crazy long hair guy on YouTube was talking about. Using Veen. Yeah, so revisit this video, watch it as many times as is useful to you. It'd be really nice to see you again. All right, take care and thanks for watching. Leva.